Stephen. Stephen. Uh, Stephen is a visionary, and uh, he has dedicated himself to doing things to uplift the community. And I'm asking him a question here: uh, What is it that he he thinks he can do to uplift the community step at a time? And uh, let him uh, speak for himself. So, all yours. Yeah, first of all, as we have just started just to do this on the side of nature to rehabilitate the nature as we are facing now the problem of global warming. Though here in our country in KZN, we don't have more chances and uh, as like in the places in Gauteng where there are no trees at all. But here, because we have started in the practical side of it to do the things so on the practical side, now we need now to concentrate to focus on to schools. Uh, to try now to educate, to tell them that why are we doing that? It's because we look in the future, that in the future we must still have the better life. So if we do not just maintain what we do have now, our future is going to go. So education you think is very important? It's very much important. Right, now, uh, you know you have 15,000 acres You have only 6,000 people. Is that right? That's right. Okay. That's right. Now, how about uh, and you can grow a lot of trees and you can you know do a lot of agriculture and all of that stuff. Uh, how about uh, putting all of the 6,000 people to work to plant trees to grow trees? If the trees gives give the fruits, they can take it down and sell them. Uh, and also, if the government or some agency wants to to grow more plants and the trees for the reason you stated, uh, for global warming and everything else, uh, they would of course pay the money also for doing that. But the net result is that if all these 6,000 people can put to work, that, that, that I think is a very important goal, don't you think? And what have you done, have you ever done that, have you ever taken that as your mission, that I want to see that everybody is employed, doing something, and earning money, so they're not dependent on outside sources necessarily. Of course, you accept them, whatever you can get, but obviously they're not enough, and to make them really self-independent, to raise their self-esteem through the work, uh, it seems to me that uh, in 15,000 acres and the interest in conservation and reforestation, it should be possible to um, employ all of these people so they can start creating wealth, right? And then they can send their kids to the schools and get education also. What do you think about that and have you thought of that and have you done anything in that area? I'm sure that can just contribute a lot as you can see, there are more spaces here, um, though we depend most on the rain. Yeah. But I'm sure as the Marula, yeah. now we have visited Nikos Tembe last time to start our negotiations because they have a sort of just uh, functions towards the fruits which are yielded by the Marula. If you can just propagate more Marula plants here, the time of fruiting, they can come here and they can buy from us. Right. Then that, that can, can contribute a lot right. to just help maybe a quarter of those people of 6,000, say. Because I don't think then 6,000 through this what you call uh, uh, planting trees yeah, can work. I understand Recent, uh, very soon we're going to have a, a shopping mall uh, in our place. Yeah, that sometimes half of the people can help. But, and also we have the agriculture. Without agriculture, yeah. we cannot go anywhere. Right, right. We cannot go anywhere because right. uh, we we need to have food. Right. You know? If we can have resources to start to encourage people, even the individuals, wherever they are, they have their small places to plant what they want: mis sweet potatoes, you know, a sort of just vegetables and just fruits, especially more fruits. You know, they can help us a lot. So why, mm -hmm. why, is that, why is that not being done today? Um, the capital. 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 Why do you need capital? I mean, 
um, you need initial capital for six months or a year. But once the fruits start to come, now you can sell them and have the money. But yeah. uh, the plant takes four years or six oh, years four before they start. Yeah, they don't, they can't plant it now and yeah. start to harvest immediately. But we have, uh, I have donated seedlings, vegetable yeah. seedlings, to different people in the area, yeah. to the vegetable garden. But obviously, um, to if it's a small little home industry, yeah. then it is fine to plant enough cabbage for to, to sustain the people for a month or okay. two or three. But you, yeah. if you want to do it commercially, yeah. then you'll need a tractor and then you need uh, 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 chemicals and you need sure, fertilizer sure. and you need I things would, like I that. How uh, about uh, getting an entrepreneur interested from outside on the basis that, hey, this is your business and uh, we are interested in getting these people employed and you put the initial capital and, uh, and, and then you will, after four or five years, you'll have abundance of fruits and everything to sell. Mm. Uh, how about that, that route? That is the very uh, crucial route which is was up, up in touching the, the capital because we need to have a fencing, especially for, for cutting, because here there's li livestock, like cattle and goats and everything. That's why I've been talking about capital because we must have capital to, to buy the fence, to fence around, to buy the yeah. poles, uh, to water start to supply. buy what called a water supply, you know, pipes yeah. uh, and, and everything like that. That is a good web. It's a good road. I now, see, I see. So, yes. so the question then becomes uh, uh, yes. the coordination between the government as well as, I mean, I'm sure that you'll get a lot of entrepreneurs if the water was available and if the electricity was available. You can see this, you can